Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome back to another Comedy Show episode. We're done with Comedy 3 for now. And are back to Comedy 2 until Comedy 3 releases. So we're off here to an exciting 1v1 here on... Bokaj in the north of the Skax, fighting for the Red Army of the Soviet Union. Comrade Stalin uh, rolling out here with the Second Guards Mechanized Court with the Defensive Guard Motor and Soviet Reserve Army. In the south, it is Stephen of Australia, fighting for the Wehrmacht of Germany. Deutschland here rolling out with the 10th Panzer Deutsch Order with Luffy for close air support, German Mechanized and Festung Armor. And as always, a big thanks to my Patreon supporters and big thanks to Carolos for joining in with them and support the Proper Podcast that way. Big thanks to you and of course to everyone else who support the Proper Podcast that way. Other people can follow us over a heroic example by pledging on Patreon or you can donate by PayPal. Links in the description. And if you're in the market for companies three, you can do something in the comments. Use the code to fg and I get a small cut of the sale there. So that's a great way to support me as well and get the game. And as you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, talk about the video. So, going to DMD4 to study for Steven versus a double consequence here for Hyax and the Red Army. But close air support, definitely not your most common commander, typically associated with a Fnivan, actually. So, interesting to see Steven go for it with the, the Stuka Reconnaissance Pass, Supply Drop Zones, Stuka Anti-Infantry Strafes, Anti-Tank Strafes, and of course, crucially, the Bombing Strike. Well, that's not crucial, really, when you think about it. So, second going to do here for Steven. Third conscript there for Hyax and the Red Army. Up north, you can use probing about here for the Red Army. Basically, here. Could I lay down sandbags while grabbing the fuel point here? Some players do that, others do not. Uh, personally, I would probably recommend some sandbags around here. Makes the point more defensible in the future against any German incursions. In the southeast, even going for a nice southern swing here. Sandbags by the victory point. Second gun in this quarter there for the German Army. Conscript out here for Hyax. Basic points here being grabbing, noting three conscripts. No additional engineers here. Could be a hint here, defensive or possibly even so to serve army. Fourth conscript, yes, it likely could be defensive or reserve army. Could still be guard motor though. I mean, you still see some players go for four conscripts, then go for guard motor because guard motor just works with everything. But again, we'll have to see if that is actually what Hyaxi does. Just because he can do it doesn't mean he will do it. Again, it could also be a reserve army. That's only one. I'd be interested to see here with these submachine upgrades and whatnot. Engineers probably on the west side here. Busy in the east of the pioneers of the eastern point. Skirmish around the center here. Bit of skirmish on the west here. MD42 catching the front of it and suppressing there with some well placed MD42 fire. Third gun is for Steven. So far, very much standard Wehrmacht build here from him with a few gun MD42. We shall have to see if he goes for a fourth gun to squad. He goes for the next tier at a slightly faster pace here. That, of course, does depend a bit on some players. Conscript base is sort of staring at the grass, the trees. Bit of skirmishing in the west here between Stevens and Hax's infantry. Front of X moving forward, see, going to push up here. And clearly Stephen is lining up machine expecting a flank, which apparently is a really good uh, well, sense there. Of course, it does mean it's going to the west side, a bit more exposed. That's On the other hand, Hax's men are being fairly bled out. Contra their court, Uraring, and turns out Uraring does not provide you with much protection against the MG42 here. As for Steven, could be tech, could it be a fourth gun could it also be something else. See, it's a bit hard to say for Steven, he's clearly a bit preoccupied with such important matters and shooting all the communists attacking him, which does, of course, provide the play here with some busyness. Not in news, but here for Hyax, but still no commander for him. As for Steven, we got a bunker here, no tech, no additional gun ideas. Certainly some of gun ideas have seen much better days. Low on health. Of course, they do have Etchens Bomb, which does unlock the Field First Aid ability. But for Steven, still no indicators what he's planning here. Maybe he's preoccupied again, but the matters. In fact, he's going straight here for the car point. Having just been back, Hyax's wave of infantry there. Steven seizes upon the opportunity straight for the car point, hoping he can that way leverage more of a tech advantage against the opponent and push hard for some, you know, medium armor, maybe even. Yeah, we do get tech there for Steven and the German army, the 10th Panzer Divi Sean. He's moving about here, troop reinforcing for Hyax. Lining up here for flank against Steven. Steven again, we push the machine gun. Note the active use of the machine gun. Some place just park the machine gun in one spot and forget it. Steven, of course, is made of sterner stuff here. Knows that best MD42 usage is a more active MD42 usage against your opponents. So, thumbs up to Steven there. Fourth gun to the squad after all. No, cancels it. Maybe some Panzer gun to the end instead. I mean, Panzer gun is a conscript build. Well, any infantry base built, obviously, is quite good. Well, support weapons, they're good. So, 
certainly would like to see some Panzer Grenadier here for Steven. Of course, Steven may have other plans, other dreams. Front of Xbox 40 for Cax, though. Machinery holding up there again. Gunny is partly spotting the Pioneer Turn, also having there spotting an air go. We do get Panzer Grenadier here for Steven. Two thumbs up. Sandy just four men compared to the five men Panzer Grenadier of Companies 3, but you know, they'll get the job done as well with a bit of excellency. Back here for Steven. Well, nothing further besides those Panzer Grenadier. No tech yet here for him and the German Army Center Commander here for Hacks. No tech either. I mean, we got the medics. We're not seeing any grenade upgrades. We're not seeing, you know, any structures being built. It's just a lot of infants so far here versus Steven and the 10th Panzer Division. 5th Panzer Grenadier Company motorized. Things going to for the conscripts. Rifling in all fear. Or not. There you go. First Panzer Grenadier Squad A for Steven. We'll have to commit to war, of course. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Sadly, though, most Vermont players tend to only go for one if they ever go for any. But, you know, a pair of Panzer Grenadiers can actually be a sizable assault force for the Germans. Though, of course, a bit expensive. Which is probably holds back some players. Machine and Nail here in the face of Hyax's infantry advance. Remaining Grenadiers Squad here in a bit of a sticky spot here as Fiax commits a lot of infantry. Steven can soon go for the supply drop zone. So not impossible. He could try and pull for that. It's so like a fast tier 3 support McCall rush. But now he does go for like to make a nice company. I've seen some players though typically again uh, rhyming on Fniven. No, actually Fniven. Uh, go for that kind of strategy here. So we'll have to see. Punches the cunts on the west. Got a skirmish in there. East side here. We got the news up here for... Shax and the Red Army like to make a nice come down to the Steven. Bear still meowing loudly in the background. I just sort of like noticed it sort of faintly, and I'm just that. Ah, oh, it's Basil. So, yeah, like to make a nice come. It could be a pack 40, could be something else there from Steven. Meanwhile, Shaxi rush straight for the tank. Maybe 10 command could be an anti aircraft type tech rushy. No commander yet. Maybe not the serve army, could more likely defense. It could still end up being Gat Motor because, again, Gat Motor is just that kind of command that just works with everything. It's very, very good in that sense and very flexible. Like, it just has no real commitment to it. You just, like, go for it and you just got, like, you know, most bases covered. South Hickon is pushing his engineers off the fuel pond here. Got to turn there by hacks on Stevens' fuel economy. Thumbs up to that. Basil, very dramatic in the background here. Two two on the way there for Steven. So there you go. Tanku V for tank commander for Hyax. More frantic meowing from Basil. There we go. Hello, Basil. Pack 40 following up for Steven as well. Obviously, concern about the possibility of other anti aircraft tap tech or ET 70 here from Hyax. Obviously, that's the Vama play. You don't really have a lot of like great options for dealing with that, except like a going for a lot of armor cars, which is kind of intense. We're hoping the Pack Forty can deal with it. Even that is typically not a super consistent method there for it. Bessels off again. Shooting is in the west here. He said he can use the front of X here. Better skirmishing here. Yevgeny drops out here, and there we go. We do get supply drop, but in a surprise twist here, and I probably cause the fuel point's about to get attacked. He's dropping it by the Western Munitions point. I mean, I would have been fairly surprised if Steven decided there when there's a large scale assault, assault on his fuel point, he was going to start dropping fuel there. That seems like he was practically just handing his opponent the win then. Another push in the opponent's car point here, backed up with ample munitions. He were to pick it up. Might be saving up P for some, well, upgrades on the gun deals, since that means you can go for a lot of light machines faster, lay down mines. It could also be, you know, setting up P for some, for some anti-infantry strafes. Consequences could get a wipe in the Consequences under Kax command. Do get the season on the way there, and... Yeah, no. And it gets away there. Pretty lucky there for Hacks, still no commander. At this point, though, sounds look less like Reserve Army. At this point, I think would have gone for the Consequences assault package. The Commissar, maybe even, but he could also like drop in a maximum of field guns. So it's my assumption here that he's not going to go for it. So likely going to be either defensive or, you know, guard motor because guard motor is just good. Munitions are being called in then by Steven. It's not uncommon for the Luftwaffe at times in the Eastern Front to do supply runs for the Germans. 
due to like mud basically making it difficult to get supplies at the front line of course the German units were surrounded because while of course most are about you know the failed air supply run you know doing the siege of Stalingrad you know the active would you know have other smaller cases where they were somewhat successful in supplying German frontline units by air fun fact though of course again Stalingrad was a bit much season out here for Yaks Max was well there we get an air reconnaissance run here from Steven a reconnaissance pass. Pardon me, Mater. Of course, armor covers the engineers. Can these in the center? Teeson roaming about here. Backed up by a few infantrymen in the south here. Another push for the fuel point here is being frustrated by Yaks here. And he's acting now. Got more fuel control here versus Stephen. Maximum almost done there. So, yeah, right now, really strong situation here for Yaks versus Stephen. Really strong situation. And we'll have to see how Steven is going to try and, like, you know, leverage all these munitions into something besides, well, more light machine guns faster, which I mean, is still pretty good. And it does beg the question is he going to, like, use the anti infantry strafe? Because, saying at least at the right times, it can be quite good. Not, say, currently three anti infantry strafe good, which is honestly at this point a bit busted, but very lo cool looking and good, but, you know. You know, it's just a bit of suppression, but in Kamini he's like, pfft, stuff dies. Yeah, in the end, got out here. No big surprise, really, though. No big surprise. Another Maxim here for the Axe and the Red Army. Yeah, got out in the end. Yeah, you now, pretty much the classic. It just covers a lot of bases. You get some good calling infantry, probably some of the best in the game. You get the heavy mortar, which is also really good. You get the T-3045, which is one of the best doctrinal tanks in terms of, like, cost ratio benefits there. You get self-repair, which is really good. You get marked vehicle, which is also really good. And crucially, they're all just easy to use. They don't require a lot of, like, timing or setup. You just use them, and, you know, they're good. So, no big surprise there. Hacks ultimately went for that one. Mortar for Steven, of course. Realize he does need some artillery support here versus the Soviets. Thumbs up to Steven. Some tech would also be a good idea in the near future. And if possible, some mines here and there could also be a good investment here for Steven. To, you know, maybe catch some Soviet tanks off guard or some Soviet infantry off foot. Getting some West Soviet knees, pushing them back here, wiring off the tombstones. Pioneer moving up here, right into Maxim. Less optimal there for Steven's Pioneer. But now they have been hauled to the front line. She's moving up and behind the Gundy's bit, this 45 minute cannon. Pounds with that machine gun suppressed here with a Maxim. Could deploy smoke on it, then try and rush in the Pounds Gundy's. Heck, like forward being hauled. Uh, it's over here in the east, but it's going to have a bit hard time catching that T-Sin infantry off here. Sadly, Steven does not have access to the same Marders that, like, just, you know, put a swift end to that T-70. West side here comes with a Fiax. Can he bring about here? Or at least threaten it more seriously. Back a base. Still no take up there for Steven and the German army. I do feel like this should be a slowly increasing priority. There we go. Next here is on the way there for Steven. And as far as land, machine in the west here. Well, centre. There's basically the max machine gun there. Could try and pop the insane up here around. Some mortar still in the support. Bombarding here. Good kill there. Here, reconnaissance. Maxim conscripts round here. We can see the Hyaxis front line slightly folding here. In fact, there's not a lot on the front line, though. Reinforcements are being sent here from Hyaxis base to launch another sortie towards the south. Perhaps hope to prevent Steven from attacking elsewhere. Or perhaps he just really wants to go out the fume. We've got telemines here. Thumbs up. Comes to the theoretically could be caught by a strafing run here. Theoretically, though, I don't know if he's going to try it. Oh, oh! You get it, but again, bit trigger they're setting up here. And there you go. Catch the conscript. They're pinned down. And forced to retreat here. Armour coming to deal with the other one. Support with the Pioneer in the centre here. Pushed by Steven here. this be headed by the Pants Gunners. But without anti tank support, the T-70 is, well, able to quickly just shut that down. Armour comes to the Conscripts here. Back at base for Stephen. The support McCoy's up. He could rush out a Stug here right now. Go for an Austrian. Maybe feeling very confident. Austrian could be a headache here. And a half for Shax, who has you know, field guns. A lot of infantry, which tends to be a very... Very good, shall we say, uh, space to insert an Austrian flak panzer into, in my experience. Teasing with the flank around here in the machine and give it there. Good flanking there by Hacks. Realizes where the pack is positioned, and thus where it isn't positioned as well, and exploits that. Thumbs up. 
Easily can sort of thing. Can you see? Steven needs that support more cop Schnell. And there we go. More pioneers for Steven. Good addition there as well. Again, if we get down some mines eventually, that would be very beneficial for Steven. Very beneficial. So there we go. Support car going up here for Steven. It's a German army. Back hit, reinforcing healing. Field gun there for Hyax. Of course, down to expect, you know, German armor here inbound. Very sensible. One thing worth noting here, Hax has a lot of munitions, but for someone isn't laying down any mines, he versus Steven. It's only something he could benefit from laying down. It would make it much harder for him to like, make any rapid pushes against Hax. Mortar here, one kill veterans you want. Hunter coming up here, Mortar find the Maxim. There's moving up again. Going for sauntering meow, for attention. Probably wants food, but I am busy recording the episode, so I can't quite feed him. But of course, I shall do so once I'm done with the episode. Isn't that right, Basil? No, no, don't attack my hand. Don't. Foo, foo, ow, ow. Basil, no, no. No. My cat. Armor cars the maximum. Putting a bit of pressure there. On support McCaw up for Steven. Guess he's going to go for Panda 4, which I suppose around this time is not a bad choice either. And certainly is helpful as the infantry. Ow. Though not as much as the Panda 4 and Company C. But still handy. Gonna have to see what he does. I mean, timing wise, you know, probably more time for a Panda 4 just in case. Oh, instant armor pitching rounds. Thumbs up to Steven. Which was an easy. Ow, Basil. Ow, 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 ow. Straight from run again here from Steven and Saluf up here. Catches the entire Soda Salop North here with one swift push here. Forcing a retreat here. Very nice there. Field being hold towards the center here by Hyax. In the east here, Gun is right about the T70 here. Still no armor here for Steven. Oh, there we go. Panther for on the way. The Panther come fucking fear. Basil with another savage attack on my hand. And he's moving in. Panther 4 there on the way slowly. As for Hyax, no mechanized on my company. It's not been, besides the Immortal, which of course is quite good, we're not really seeing much else, of course, worth noting. In Company 3, there are heavy mortars, but they don't have a retreat button. Because, you know, they're heavy. So they can be towed. But, you know. Out, Basil. Ow. Phew! Basil got a bit too enthusiastic there. He's a bit of an aggressive play cat. Anyways, T's only being pushed back by the armor car, mostly the, the prep threat of the pack forward of the pack forward for some reason. They apparently can't see past this piece of shrubbery, and so can't see it and shoot it. Yeah. That's a bit awkward there. But there you go, Panzer was arrived here for Steven, and it's the 10th Panzer du Schorn. Second company. Second Panzer Battalion. At the 10th Panzer Regiment. Took reinforcing healing here. Armor car straight for the field gun. And a straight from run again here for Steven. He's been quite active using his like support his maneuvers now. Which is quite interesting to note here. Maxim pinned down, almost got the field. If we get rid of that one, kill the crew, that'd be pretty beneficial for Steven, but no. He also doesn't get the T70. In fact, the T70's ground the point while staying at the pack. I don't think Steven's realized the T70. Now it's firing back. He could send in the Pantafort to help deal with the T70, but he's not doing that. Perhaps concerned about things around here. Pack turning around here, opening up the T70 Pantafort on the move here. But again. Of course, it takes the path in. It's safer, but also gives the T-70 room to escape. He like, and he tried, you know, for this angle here again. Obviously, more risks associated, no mistake, but also, like, increase the chance of the T-70 not being able to get away. You see that? Jack's been good use of the training. We're actually seeing the T-70 used a part of the map that is 
basically never used by any player. I suppose you should get a ward for that. Anyways, Panzer here, eventually two versus the conscripts here. Doing fairly good work with the Stumgers. More today having some nice targets. Vexy to the Granada now for three kills. Halfway to Vexy three. Hey, Mortar though. Blasting away there with three kills. Veterans one. Smoke being deployed there. Oh my. Eastside there guns about to hit by the T7 again. Panda 4 pulling back here for now. Seem connect to go for another one. None. So any more Panda 4s right now would be a very good addition though. He could still consider another Ospin here. Oh, what? Not another Ospin. Eight Ospin in the first place. That could provide Steam again with some crucial anti support as well here. On a bit more of an aggressive basis than the Panzer 4. t falling back here. So we got Contra up backed up with the SIS 3 additional field gun. Definitely should put back his mortar before the third mortar buries that one entirely. Panzer 4 there, halfway done here for Stephen. Here's the conscripts. Good zooming eastwards here for Stephen. Flanking up behind the counter around the centre there, Panda 4 holding back, keeping repaired. East side the armoured car probing further up here, Hax's flank sets up a flare mine. West side they ground the point here. Victory point for Hax is quite considerable here for Steven. Uh, over Steven. That's something something that Steven may want to cause mind. Mechanized armor company final for Hax, of course, means he can start upgrading all of his conscripts with a 7 upgrade. Moving straight into the Panda Files tier. Aircraft shot out of the sky. Panzer 4 there, good to go. So again, that's two Panzer 4s. I mean, that is a significant tank advantage. Stephen currently possesses over Hyax. And did he not reinforce that field and crew and heal it up? That is... Whew, that certainly feels a bit like a, a slip up there by Hyax, but looks like one that Stephen will not be punishing. Very fortunate for Hyax here. If he can take out the T-70, at least that, of course, they'll be helpful there for Stephen. Need to retreat that Panzer 4 before it gets wiped out. Almost got the T-70 here. There we go. Guard it. Looks like an Indian squad also bit the dust here. Bronze being provided out by the Panda 4. Second shot misses too. T-35 almost done for Shax. Had initially planned to go for the T-34 some sector versus Panda 4s. You know, the 85 is a much more solid choice. Field knows the T Panda 4 there. Finally reinforcing healing up here, pulling back the Panther 4. West side he finds the fuel point happens here as Shax pulls in troops, trying to wrest control of the fuel point here from Steven's filthy hands. East point he grabbed with the Gunnadiers, back here, armor carbon repair with the Pioneers. T-35 there has arrived to the front line, model 1944. There's technically two models with the T-35, there's the 1943 model, which was the early model, which had a slightly smaller and less well armored turret with a slightly less powerful gun. Field and they flanking the Panda 4. Ooh, not great here for Steven's Panda 4. 14 no anti tank grenades. He might risk losing the Panda 4, doesn't pull it back soon. Could soon go for a. Well, he could go for Stug now. He could also go for an Ospin now. He could, of course, also have another Panda 4, I suppose, try and go for Tier 4. Reconnaissance pass again here for Steven. Making fairly active use of, like, at least two abilities here, though. Not so much everything else. I suspect he's just going to go for another Panda 4, and certainly just churning up Panda Forces of the Wehrmacht is, well, one of the better strategies, honestly. So I can hardly blame Steven for just you know, going for a bunch of them. Straight from run again here. Ping down the Maxim. Again, doesn't really do much of any damage, but again, it does more or less just instantly pin units. T-35 is the pack on the Panda 4. Quickly push back here, suffering quite a bit of damage on the T-3045. Feeling we hold up here. West side remains firmly Marxist here due to the valiant efforts of Hyax. Mark vehicle on the Panda 4. Certainly another incentive for Steven to pull his Panda 4 out of there. The Panda 4 an option again. Could go for T-4. He could also go for Supply Drop. He could go for more Panzer Gundiers. Another Mortar. Got more Pioneers for Steven and Tier 4 here, so we will see some big armor here for Steven. Or well, might see Panzerwerfers, which is obviously not bigger than a Panzer 4. 
Pepto. Well, obviously, with Steam Ghost, will it be a Panther? Will it be a Storm Panzer Fear? More today with five kills, close to 33. More today with four kills. Machine Gun in the center, very, very close to the East level. Q4 here for Steven. There's the conscripts. Rough grenade off. T3045, they almost done it for Shax. Now I want to wait, that is, I mean. Bit more to go before it's almost done. There's the conscripts in the east, Max rolling up. T35, they're rushing in from the northeast, striking at Steven's positions. It's going to ease the exposed out in the open with only a bit of light cover to cling on to. Are oh, definitely very much in for retreat in the face of the T35. He's also lost the gun in these squads. Meanwhile, he's yet to like wipe any Kyax's infantry squads. Good shot from the pack four in the T35 there. Pushing down to almost half health. Tier four, almost on F7. <laughs> The 10th Panzer Division. Field number one here, the Grenadier. Panzerkampfang Fang Fimming IP. There we go, another T for the here for Hyax. North here comes the conscripts. Panther Moon getting the conscripts shooting, but missing. Packs hold up here, T-35 them in through the center, run to the Panthers 1 armored car here, and of course from the pack. Decent shot, but there we go, Hax quick time with the pack 40, could wipe it here, leaving Stevenson in a more awkward position here. If he achieves this goal, I'm pretty nice going across the stream here, into negative cover, meaning it's an extra easy target here for the T-35, so definitely not great there for Steven. Almost got here, and there go, the crew does expire. Steven employs a another staging run here. Won't stop the tanks. Won't stop the field gun. Though it does take him to do more damage to that because he can't be suppressed, but it does pin down everything else. Panther was the T first pack crewed here by a few plucky pioneers here. The T first get the assault. He almost got the Panda 4 here. Pack will want to get a close range again. Negative cover against the T Fed Force machine guns is just not a great recipe for long, you know, health and prosperity. No heavy panther whip for Steven, of course, caught up here in the massive assault in the right flank from the hacks. His possessions are an utter mess right now. His pack's about to get destroyed. At least he didn't lose any of his tanks, he didn't lose the armored car, and of course, he's about to lose the pack 40. He could theoretically try and launch a flank attack here, get around to the Hyaxx's flank that way. But his infantry is not quite in a position to do so. Yeah, the heavy panther call probably should be priority soon here for Steven. But if he tends to go, though, I suppose at this stage. I would not be surprised if Steven feels tempted to go for a Panthea versus Yax. West of Eagle is from the Western Victory Point there. We've got 266 with 341. At least Steven has been able to close the gap somewhat between the two. Panther Falls being repaired. Prioritizing fixing the Panther Falls over the heavy pants score certainly makes a lot of sense here. Machine gun veteran 3, by the way. Thumbs up to that. Mortar also veteran 3. Thumbs up to that too. Counter battery fire, oh my. No idea if that's gonna work out. It's my man, the third heavy mortar here. That's what gonna do, see. So far, though, it hasn't really had much of an effect, has it now? Okay, there we go. That's an effect. Pentaphor's almost getting ready. Punch the court out in the open in front of the T-5545, there's definitely not a great spot to be in. They also achieved veteran in three, that's definitely very handy there for Steven in future engagements. As long as it's not right in front of another T-5545, again in which case, not so much there. More today, seven kills. Even mortify here, as Jax of course is quite intent on silencing Steven's mortar. And so far it's doing a fairly good job at it. As for Steven, both Panther Force fixed up. Oh no, the mortar got white. Quite a blow. Of course, he can recruit, but he can't quite just, you know, bring it back up to Veteran Fears easily. He did wipe the third heavy mortar. If he could grab that, that would be a big win there for Steven. But for now, I think, you know, you just, you know, like, get whatever he's got planned, everything in Panther Corps going here versus Shaxa Force to late here. If he could grab that heavy mortar, that would be really good. There you go. Hey, Panther for Steven. That's a German army. Gonna use the catch on the continental flank. Aircraft shot at the skies there. So it won. Do have some anti tank strafe now available here, does it? Now that he's got maybe set munitions for it. Any more to quickly recruit there by Hax. Very good. So there you go. 
Schwerer Panzerkorps of Steven and Deutschland. Jack, meanwhile, going for, surprise, surprise, another T-35. Picks on the Panzer IV here. And he's been down by the Max Machine Gun, closing on the east level there. T-35, they're almost done. T-35 moving up here. Panzer IV's half eight fetching two there. I suspect with the threat of like an impending number of T-35 defiles, his demon is probably going to try and go for the Panther. Whereas I would obviously recommend Stooks because they're going to have the firepower attack to bring down the T-35s. Oh, there we go, T-35, they're ready here for Steven. Almost got the maximum here. Panther Shrek's too. Ooh. I think that's something you should actually go on for another Panzer Gunner Discord 4 rather than sacrificing this because, I mean, this deck basically needs to take one of his best anti-infantry units, a veteran 3 Panzer Gunner Discord, and turn it into a tank unit. It can still do something against infantry, but I, I... I really wouldn't recommend this in most circumstances. Like, I feel like this is a bit, you know, not great. Obviously, they are highly accurate with the Panzer. You can find them fairly well. I mean, they're not bad with them, a veteran 3, but typically... I feel like that's not what you want to, like, use a veteran 3 Panzer Gunner Discord honor that stage like you know if you can get one up there with a Patrick alone that's great but you know don't sacrifice better than three pentagon deer squads for that but oh well and there you go we do get the panther for steven panzerkampfwagen 5 ausführung ah fun fact the one in company three is actually the model d which is the early model which is actually the first time it's shown up in company heroes so far relic has been very focused on the model a panther Fun fact. I'll wait. Panther one third of the way done here for Steven. It's definitely starting to take some losses here against Hax. And Hax has three T-3055, something quite veteran. This combined with Mark Vehicle could become a big problem there for Steven very fast. Of course, he does have packs. Panther X2, Panther Force, and a Panther. So it's not like Steven can't muster any anti-tank firepower here versus Hax, but... Well... We'll have to see how this turns out. The constant powers again, fairly consistent use of the ability. I mean, it is pretty cheap at 35 munitions too, so... It's not like a bad thing at all there. Might even be one of the reasons he actually went for the command in the first place. I wish to try it out. Anyways, T-35 something up. Panther's ready for Steven and the German army. And for the pulling back. Panther's heading 40 for Steven. Gonna be three tanks versus three tanks. Well, just some varying gaps in quality. Panther setting up. Panther Shrek teaming up as well. Pioneers into the maximum of the conscripts. T-35 going up here, backed up by the other T-35 here. Looks like they're both looking to flank around each other, actually. But Steven's splitting up his armoured forces, whereas Hyax is not. He's just catching some parts of the armoured flank, got a straight run up here. I think Steven now realised what's going on in the flank, he's pulling back his armour, but it may be too late. Now this means, of course, Hyax here quickly smashes through the mortar team, us destroying the mortar in the process alongside the crew. Steven here, having a bit of a hard time deciding what to do here. Hyax, meanwhile, does not lose any time here. He just starts swinging at Steven here, realising that Steven is... Hesitating, he just swings in, and oh dear, oh dear, this is bad for Steven. The Panthers turn the rear towards the enemy, which is what you never want to do with a Panther, by the way. In fact, Panther commanders were actually instructed to always keep the front towards the enemy, like, you know, just to further emphasize the uh, front, like, is the, the actual Panther is the one he's at. Contra, they pushed back by the machine gun seat, half health already, marked tight. Of course, Shaq's nose, and we marked the Panther. It takes a lot more damage, meaning all of its health doesn't really matter as much. It basically turns it into a Panther 4 health wise. Which is really bad for the Panther too. Aircraft knock at the sky here. Great kill for Yax. Mortifying the Pantrific team here. Steven still has a sizable force. But Yax is certainly hitting some of the more crucial elements of Steven's forces here. So hard to say here. Both sides repairing the tanks here. Flanking up here the consequence of the Maxim. Steven splitting up his forces here. Panther being fixed up. Steven trying to deal with some of the elements on the flank here, using a small battle group here, but made up with the Panther on the Panther team here. There we go, T-Fuzzle striking up here, again. 
Getting clanked over the Panther here in the pack. Patrick team retreating right past it. One and nine versus three and four to be there. Go, he's striking out the isolate of the Panther for here. T35, they've actually two here. Panther taking hits. He almost got knocked out already to the field on the T35s. Panther four here. Bouncing shots at close range and dodging them. Wow, this is really lucky there for Steven. T35, they're knocked out here. Panther four's almost knocked out here. T35, they're backing off. There you go. One Panther four down here. Pack in trouble. Oh, extended. Both of Steven's tanks are heavily damaged. Shaq's also got heavily damaged armor. But I think Hatch currently is in a better position to quick replace compared to Steven. Another T-35 that goes up in flames here. Steven's force is being retreated across the front line here. One T-35 left here. Steven's got two tanks, but he will need to repair them. He could consider more pioneers. He might set off some more resource armor. We'll have to see here. Meanwhile, Hatch, of course, just presses the bring me another T-35 button. And quickly advances forward to see it. Meanwhile, back at base here, Stevens Pioneer is basically fixing up the Panther. Panther 4, the next priority for him. I'd probably recommend the Panther 4 because A, he can get it back faster. But also just has more impact as the infantry, which is going to be the more immediate threat here for Stevens. So, probably suggest that as a priority in set. But anyways, rough grenades here, Panther teaming forwards here. Though again, with their Panther effects, they're not quite as effective in dealing with the consequences here as they always could be. Like, had these been without Pantrix, they probably could have swept away these two concert courts fairly fast, allowing Steven to do his quick push forwards. Eastern Fuming lost here. Fresh T-35 ready here for Steven. Off his action, not for Steven. Meanwhile, the other one's fixed up. Again, self-repair here. Really also benefit there for Hax, whereas again, Steven is basically still fixing up the Panther. His Panther 4 is always being rushed into the front here as well. Heavily damaged. So right now, Hax still enjoys a lot of shows, say, operational advantage here, thanks to self-repair stuff. And the... I'd rather the fresh T-35 there. Meanwhile, Steven is bringing up more machine guns. So, yeah, he's still... He's got the Panther fixed up, but the Panther is heavily damaged. We could quickly get knocked out here by Hax if Steven's not careful. There's a lot here on the line. we got 53 versus 3 and a 40 here. Steven's Panther, Panther 4 pulling in here, but again, lack of support here is going to be crucial. There you go. Ace little Panther, Panther. Direct hit there. Punch and trick for the Panther's armor. Panther 4 knocked out. Huge blow to Steven. Now he's done just one Panther versus two t 3045s backed out by a veteran free field gun. This is typically what we call pretty bad news for the Germans. Panther there getting flanked by the T-35s. See if he were to mark target. The Panther go down even faster. And there you go. That is exactly what happens. And now the Panther is pretty much just toast. He's even willing to ram it here. Knocking out the Panther. It is abandoned. But... Yeah, like, he's just going to knock it out, at which point Steven has a pair of Panther Shrek's and next to the victory points left here. Like, even if he takes out the T-345 here, it won't matter because now he's going to take back all these victory points currently, and the answer is, well, he can't really, can he now? At least not long term. So this is pretty much a GG here from Hatch against Steven here. He's down to eight points. He did render one neutral, but there's still two to go. And if you just contest the point, it suppresses a pen click on DC. It won't be able to grab the center one anyway. It's down to four. Two. Almost got the wipe. And there you go. GG game over. He lost for Steven here. Close. But again, I think part of the issue is just, you know, should have gone for Stokes. The Panther and Cummings 2 just isn't very good. But even then, tactically, just, you know, kind of got sucked into, like, Shax's pace. Wasn't quite as aggressive as I think he could have been at times. And Shax, I think, was able to exploit this at several times. It seemed they were quite followed through with any opportunities. Meanwhile, Shax typically tend to follow through on his opportunities. So, there you go. The hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment. Consider donating or pledging on Patreon to support the Probably Not as worth it. And I'll let you know. Feel free again to consider pre-ordering the game while making comments. Use the code Duke3G is written there and I get a small part of the sale. So thank you all and see you all tomorrow for a nice episode. Bye.